it's all about the shade. Who controls the shade or the light? Guys, like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into it. The video sparking a debate as families get set to take off for spring break. One child wanted the window shade closed, but the woman with the window seat, she was not having it. Gio Benitez is here with all the shade. Good morning, Gio. <laughs> Michael, good morning. All the shade. I like that. So many people are talking about this video because this happens so often when you're on a plane. If you buy a window seat, who has the right to the window shade? Is it you or is it a passenger around you? Well, one woman posted her dilemma and, oh, it is going wild online. This morning, as millions prepare to take off for their spring break flights, a showdown over the window shade going viral. At least 16 million people watching as the woman shooting the video opens her shade and a child in front of her closes it. The woman <laughs> captioning the video, it's my window. That passenger speaking with GMA overnight. I really enjoy looking at scenery from a plane. I also get a bit of claustrophobia when I'm not, when I, when I can't see outside the plane. I did see that he had another window directly adjacent to him. So for that reason, that's why I decided, no, I want to keep this window open. If that were to happen again, I mean, I'd react the exact same way. And this isn't the first time travelers have battled it out over making the flight bright. But it's my opinion that as the window seat occupant, I am the dictator of the window shade. Passengers sharing their frustration on social media. I did open the shade both times. I'm a benevolent ruler, but I just thought it was insane. And some having a little fun, like in this video. But this morning, the question, who has the right to determine whether the shade goes up or down? We went to the head of the largest flight attendants union to find out. I think everybody thinks that they've got some sort of claim on that window, and it's understandable uh, when you're purchasing that window uh, seat. And most people actually want to be considerate of people around them. So giving people a chance to respond in a positive way is really the best approach. Oh, yeah, Sarah I have a few thoughts before I'm going to check the comment section because I know it's going to be lit. Why did they bring the lady on from the flight attendants union? She's like answering for Miss America pageant. I think all should be well. We should have humanity and you should respect each other and talk to the passengers. <laughs> Come on, lady. Tell us who is correct. That's why they contacted you. Now, ABC, next time contact someone that's going to give some advice and don't give you a scripted answer. I know she's the union president, but she gave nothing, nothing. The shade belongs to the lady and she has control over the shade. The child isn't even sitting in the same row. The child has a shade of his own that he should, he should keep his hands to. Parents, where are the parents? Parents, you should step up. You should control your kids. That's really unacceptable. I know recently my wife, for example, was on a flight. There was a kid behind her kicking the seat. The father stepped up. The father said to the son, hey, you know, stop kicking the seat. Please apologize to the lady. And the son did. He did. And all was well. Now, that is parenting. So my question is, where are the parents or at least one parent? Yeah, and Sarah Nelson says that in her experience as a longtime flight attendant, when people advocate for themselves and explain why they want something, most of the time, other people understand and they take that into consideration. Just make oh. sure that you're not starting this big Let's fight. Call it it's very intense, Sam Champion. Make sure Let's that you're call calling a crew member and, you know, get, get a little help no with these crews. Yeah. They are yeah. dealing with oh, a lot. They yeah. really are. They really are. So who's with the weather? That's exactly the point. They didn't say whose window is it. It's the latest window. The kid wasn't acting right. And if you feel differently, comment below. Let me know your reasons. I'm going to get into the comment section. The first comment obviously, the person who pays for the window seat has the right to control the shade. This is just common sense and obvious. <laughs> Someone responded. Not always. On longer international flights, flight attendants would ask you to close the shade. On planes with electronic shades like the 787, they even have a setting that prevents you from undimming the shade. Yeah, you're right. This is not only on the Dreamliner 787 from Boeing, but also on the Airbus A350s. They typically lock the shade at a certain um, darkness or lightness, depending on how you look at it. Um, the flight attendants normally control the shades because 
normally you're flying between um, night and day and you want to set the mood of the entire flight for the, the comfort of most passengers. I guess one question is, where was the flight attendant in this case? I mean, <laughs> I think one thing you could consider, guys, uh, I know it's just a kid, but <laughs> you could always call a flight attendant to sort it out. But if that flight attendant is like the union president, mm. I don't know. <laughs> person says window seat gets the window control aisle seat gets easiest access to getting up and aisle armrests middle seat gets both armrests i agree with that plain and simple plain and simple i agree ah great comment here parents needs to control their children absolutely agree where are the parents good parenting person says the kids on these planes are something else i have three of them my husband and i make sure they don't disturb others good parenting this person says parents are shameless these days no control over their children absolutely you have some parents that are scared to talk to their kids and you have some kids who just run over their parents now when i was a kid if i did something wrong and an elder saw me i may get a spanking if i went home and i told my parents i'll get a second one so i learned to act right and keep things to myself so guys i'm i'm expecting some of you to think that the kid was in the right here but i don't know the reasoning for that comment below let me know your thoughts like share subscribe for more come on back guys until next time one love <laughs>